What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do indeed have no new content. But before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button and drop the sub. Let's get 120 likes on this video. This is an MT making method video. Shout out to my boy Savage Doveys again. He won the giveaway. We're going to do another giveaway in about two, 300 subs. Once we do hit 11.5K, another 100K MT giveaway. So make sure. on there we also do the giveaways on there and the instagram so make sure to go follow those down below and yeah man um yeah we got no new content today i expect the locker code later we're gonna go over the market um yeah i mean this is the worst pack ever i'm just surprised they didn't drop flash today i mean uh i'm surprised they didn't drop prime today and then something else tomorrow but it's whatever these spotlight sewer packs are here for that long they're so bad but yeah Let's get into market. People keep asking me, should I sell these cards? I guess we'll go over all the cards in the auction, go over some MT making methods and whatnot, because yeah, there is definitely a lot to talk about in this video. We have a lot to talk about. Opals, pink diamonds, there's a lot going on. And honestly, tomorrow, I think we're going to see a sick prime day. Let's just go over it. So if you guys don't know, man, prime, dude, honestly, I, it reeks of like a huge, a huge prime day. Okay, I definitely see like some craziness dropping tomorrow. I don't know what. We have Paul George Prime, Kawhi Prime, Zion Prime, Giannis Prime. There's a lot that could drop. I think there's going to be a point guard Giannis Prime as a set reward. We can maybe get the GOAT MJ as the reward. We're going to see. Whatever the reward is, bro, it's going to be a GOAT player. So I'm going to try to do it. I use Luke on Lamar. They're freaking go GOATed. I would definitely scoop a Luke or a Lamar for the price. I think they're way too cheap. I think if you think about it, if all these cards are around 200, 200, 400, uh, 400k for them, 600, this set's gotta be worth at least 1.5 mil, okay? So I still think you guys should definitely cop these cards. There's no way their value drops. They drop super packs already. They didn't really drop. Lamar Odom probably dropped like 20k. Lucas stayed around the same. I just really think it's worth the investment, especially if they drop not that good of a, a prime card. So. I don't know. It's up to you. I definitely think it's worth getting them. But yeah, let's go over the auction. We're going to go over every Opal. What I think is going on. Is the market crash? Is it inflated? We're going to go over everything in this video because I know you guys do love to love it. So whew, let's go over it. Okay, so Galaxy Opals. Bobo's the same. Michael Jordan's the same. Lonzo's the same. Magic Johnson is around the same. He actually rose a little bit. He was 220 yesterday. Uh, should you sell your cards today? That is the big question. I am just so confused myself. If I was in your position, would I sell? Hmm. Looking at the auction, honestly, this is honestly the new like standpoint. All as I know is that there's definitely going to be something big tomorrow. I expect a huge Prime set to drop because they stalled off Prime for a couple weeks and they also dropped Prime Super Packs, okay? That rings a bell. They have to drop something very big. What is it going to be? I have no idea, but I'm expecting a very big Prime Day with two players in the set. Because to be honest, man, Prime Days don't really bring them that much MT. I mean, VC sales. They have to drop something really big. Last time we got a Prime drop, we got Eddie Curry, we got Trey Young, and we got two Opals or two Opals every Prime set. I think they're going to make the jump to three Opals. Honestly, I could definitely see them jumping up to three Opals. So, we shall see what they do. What you guys should be doing right now? Should you sell your cards? It really depends on what they draw. I say hold on to your cards and sell Sunday. Just if you have no MT, you could sell your cards. Because then again, it's end game, man. The market's going to continue to crash. You're just going to see these players continuously drop. When will there be a market crash? Possibly tomorrow. If it's prime, there's never really a big crash unless they do drop some craziness tomorrow. Which they have been dropping some craziness for the last month or so. So I definitely expect the market crash tomorrow. Now, a lot of you guys were asking, we were talking about the uh, Jared Dudleys, the Spotlight Sim Filter. Man, the Spotlight Sim Filter has been straight money, man. I would definitely hop on it. 
The locker code did kill the value of like the diamonds because as you can see, there's a million Lonnie Walkers here. But still, um, this filter man, Dennis Smith for 1900. I don't know if he was in the locker code. We're gonna see. I don't think he was. If he was, it's an L. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna make some decent profit off Dennis Smith. There. Oh, he was in the locker code. Never mind. But. There's a lot going on in that filter, especially the pink diamond filter, man. The pink diamond filter has been going off. You guys should definitely hop on the pink diamond filter. I say this in almost every video. You have to think about all the strats, all the things that were going on. So let's go enabled and let's just see if we can get rid of the. We have to buy Strickland too, but yeah, there's so many Stricklands up here. I don't know why. But let me tell you if you buy Strickland and you buy Paxton and what's his name? Jared Dudley. This filter is going to be one of the best filters in the game. You guys should definitely hit it up. It's going to be very consistent, very good. You're going to make a lot of MT. Just trust the process. I'm honestly about to buy Strickland. There's a lot going on right now. Honestly, today, the Pink Diamond filter is going to be slower because there is no new content. We're probably going to see. I feel like we're going to get a consumable locker code in which we are going to see. I, if we get a consumable locker code, what you guys should be doing to make so much MT is sniping diamond contracts for 10k. It is the easiest way to make MT in my opinion. It literally is so easy. Every time you refresh, man, on a consumable thing, there's a diamond contract for 10K and under. It is so good. Diamond contracts are up to like 8, 19,000 MT. If you guys snipe diamond contracts like I did, I actually sold all mine for 18K. They're up to 19,000 MT. Why? I It's because the Opals, man, I'm telling you. Opals really drive the prices up on every single thing like consumable wise like shoes are up They're also I just feel like they're definitely gonna drop a diamond consumable pack very soon It's due when they drop the diamond consumable pack man Making thousands of MT off the diamond con the diamond contracts is absolutely crazy And also I want to talk about one more thing again, man If you guys still haven't sold these moments of the week cards, man Please go ahead in your collection Look at this Amethyst Brandon Ingram for 90k. These sell. I promise you, bro. These cards sell. Please. People need these for collector level. You guys need, need to get these cards. I promise you, man. Get these cards. Thank me later. It's not get these cards. Sell these cards. Snipe them out. Whatever you want to do. Moments of the week cards are going for so much. And also, something, something rings a bell, man. I have a feeling heat check cards are going down the drain. They are. Heat check cards are going to continue to drop. Because I have so I have a feeling they're going to drop something with heat checks. Because if you see, if you noticed over the last couple days, man, heat check packs, heat check value did drop a lot, which makes me think. I heard somebody talking about a super heat check pack with like sick odds and opals or whatever. I could definitely see it coming. Kuke used to have the deluxe heat check packs in the set, and now they no longer have the deluxe heat check packs. So it really makes me think, what are they going to drop? It has to be something interesting. They have to drop something interesting with the heat check packs. They're going to drop either that or some moments packs, something. Because if you think about it, this these cards were not in packs for a very long time. People need them to complete the set. There hasn't been any locker codes on any moments of the week cards. Something has to drop, man. These cards are way too rare in the game. They love killing rarity in the game. So definitely, this card, these cards will definitely, definitely drop very soon. So if you have them, man... Please make sure to go ahead and sell them. These diamonds, these amethysts are going for like 20k plus. It's literally crazy. So overall, let's go over the video quick. Should you sell your cards right now? Right now, man, it's not even up to me. It's completely up to you. It depends how you feel. Is there going to be a market crash tomorrow? Probably. I definitely expect a market crash. Depending on what content it is, if they drop a super prime, some craziness on the prime set, yeah, there's going to be a big market crash. It really just depends on what they drop if they drop a set that isn't prime there's gonna be a huge market crash it really just depends what they drop if you don't have mt i would say sell your cards if you have mt stocked up just hold on to your cards market can't really crash that much more unless they do drop that crazy set so yeah that's all we got for the video i'm waiting for a locker code to drop so i can get more content out for you guys and yeah that's all we got hope you guys enjoyed shout out to the nasus on the kumpo diamond i botched that name but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video have a good one guys peace